Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're doing something different again. I have my uh, 1992 Forerunner here, the one I put the head gaskets on. And I was noticing last year that the um, air conditioning wasn't blowing cold anymore. Uh, the 92 Forerunner here happens to have R12 in it, Freon, where my uh, 1994 sitting over there that has 134 and it so what we're going to do today is i'm going to convert this to r12 to 134 okay so the first thing i have to do here is pull this uh canister off here it's in the way what i had to do is i had to buy um fittings to convert it because the uh, 134 hookup is different than the R12 and of course everything's in the way over here and plus I got to move this line over so the uh, fitting is facing this way more it's like underneath the high side pressure hose This is going to get, have to get hooked up again when I start it up because there's fuel in here. And there's a vacuum line here. So we're just going to pull the bracket off. I just cut the, the fuel line here. It looks like I'm going to have to fix that. I don't even know if you can see me over there. I guess. Yep. I never saw so much, so many vacuum lines, and it's just a mess. Anything you do on this, everything's in the way. Okay, so what I did so far is I loosened the uh, line here because this uh, fitting was right under the uh, high side here. So I brought it around this way a little bit so we could work on it. And I could put the new fitting on there and um, we'll see what happens. They say to uh, when you're converting from R12 to 134 that you have to take the compressor off, change the oil in there. Well, when I was an auto mechanic, I did several of these conversions. I never bothered to do that. I would just vacuum the system out and um, <clears throat> refill it with 134. Never had a problem. So they say it's not compatible, but I don't see why not. Okay, I bought the uh, retrofit from Advanced Auto from R12 to 134A and that's the part number on the top right there and then I, I bought this Freon it's 
Sorry about that. AC Pro. It's a... Uh, what is it having it? Maximum cold air, air. Has leak sealer in it. Protect system. Extends AC life. That's all a bunch of crap, I think. But whatever. And, um... I already put the fitting on there. I only put the fitting on the low side. Because we're going to charge it from the low side. And we're going to go want, like... I don't know. Like 35 to 40 on the gauge here. It comes with this gauge on here. How accurate that is, I don't know. But I don't have any gauges or anything like that here. So we're going to hope for the best with this thing. i got to hook it up. And then we're going to start it up. I'm going to have to hook up uh, one of the lines to that canister I had to move. Because I, I see that's got gas in it. Okay. Okay, you have to unscrew the top of the uh, gauge off of the, the can, and you have to unscrew this. Because I pulled the trigger and it did nothing. And then I read this. I'm not one to read directions all the time, so uh, keep in mind. Uh, also, when you're doing air conditioning work, always wear safety goggles. Okay, I'm going to start it up, turn the air conditioner on, and we'll see what happens. like five ounces short, so I have to buy another can and I'll buy another can. Take to hold the can straight up. I hope you guys are seeing it. I'm up to like 28 now on the low side.
still like 15 on the gauge here. Take it for a ride, it cools off the uh, air conditioning condenser, which is in the uh, front of the radiator here, and it'll make the air conditioner even colder. It's not that hot out today, it's not that warm. I think it's in the 70s, maybe almost 80s, it's starting to feel like it's getting warm out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this whole thing up and then take it for a ride and I'm sure it'll be alright. Well, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. And we do have the uh, Gravely Project, the second one, that's unfinished. So we're going to get to that soon. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.